computer. <laughs> Emily, I am not sure. I think that is your computer doing its thing again. You know where? Yeah, I'm going to mute it. Yeah, Sorry. and I'll, yeah, you can come back on if it does it again. I think I can mute you a little bit. Okay, so I believe we are recording, and um, let's see. It's October seventh. For those of you who can't be on, I know some people said do a recording, please. Um, so welcome, and uh, I'm so glad you guys are here. We're gonna do the PowerPoint pretty quickly because I think it'll take most of our time. The first Monday of each month, that's what we're gonna go through because it's basically why reinvent the wheel. The company has such a, done a great job of making the PowerPoint for us. I just have to follow it and add my own little things in there, and we'll see if that worked here in a moment. Um, but then um, the second Monday, or the third Monday of the month when we have our next meeting, that will be, since it's so mid-month, that will be more of the troubleshooting and what do we want to cover. I will always have some stuff in mind, but that third Monday of the month can be also for, hey, I need help with this. And you could even you know text me ahead of time and say, hey, can we make sure we cover whatever. So keep that in mind. Um, but before we start, uh, I want to, well, first of all, Lily is on. I don't know if we'll see you tonight or not, Lily, but um, welcome. Lily is brand new and she's already got two or three shows going and it's been about a week, I think, since you started. So congratulations. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome. We, we can all relate to exactly how you feel right now. Right, everyone? <laughs> so many things to learn, but it's so exciting. So um, in the slides, there will be a little bit of welcome time, too. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start that um, as soon as I ask first. So does anybody have anything really happening right now you're excited about and you want to toot your own horn right at the moment for anything that's happened like within the first week? Because being this is the latest we could possibly have a Monday meeting. We've already had a whole week of the month go by. Um, before a meeting. So does anyone? Well, I, got my, I got my commission statement today. That was pretty exciting. I know. Yeah. And you got the team leader uh, commission statement where you got the overrides for you and your teammates having a great month. So yay. That's that was pretty exciting. I know. Congratulations. Thank so, you. Yeah. And Deb, I think your override check was pretty decent for. Um, yeah. Melissa had a really good month. Right. Yeah. So that's exciting. So Emily, pretty decent too, I believe. So yay. So if I may, if you haven't already, I'm going to, like I said, I keep saying this is a slideshow, but we have an, on my computer are two, oh no, somebody else's cute. Let's see. There you go, Lily. Okay. I think we're good. So the two people on the, two of the people on the call right now, are expecting and I just have to share that so um, Elizabeth and Emily are both expecting and they're a week apart which is so cool <laughs> so um, come to find out they were both expecting when we were at national conference but neither one of them officially knew it yet so <laughs> that's pretty cool <laughs> so no don't anyone be scared of going to national conference next year if you're not wanting that to happen but anyway <laughs> So, so anyway, that's exciting to be keeping your business alive in the middle of morning sickness and all that too. So great job, you guys. <laughs> all right. So here we go. I'm just going to start into the PowerPoint unless anyone else has something they want to share. Anyone? Okay. Here we go. So my Zoom is up there right now. Let's see. Can you all see the PowerPoint? Yep. Okay. And now is it full screen so you can see the whole thing? Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. First two steps I have done. Yay. All right. So <laughs> I, I'm just so pleased with myself. This is really big time for me, you guys, because I never ever once in my life learned how to do a PowerPoint. And I think kids learn it. And my kids are saying first grade, they're doing PowerPoints even in first grade now. So yikes. All right. So October team meeting, welcome and updates. So look at this. Are you guys proud of me? Our two newest um, people on the team. I do hope that is you. Is that correct, Lily? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, by process of elimination in your pictures, that had to be you unless you really just post other people. And then, um, so Lily was welcomed in by Emily Edens. And then Esther, I don't believe is on the call. If you are, give a yell out, Esther. I don't think she is, but she signed up with Megan. Um, Jones. And so congratulations to both um, 
Lily and Esther for making such a great decision and for Emily and Megan for inviting them in. So, um, and I, I was going to try to figure out a way and, and, and delete all these that say insert photo and name, insert photo and name. And then I thought, no, this will be a great teachable slide to say next month, let's have all of these filled and more. So I have to actually create another slide. Doesn't that just sound like a great idea? <laughs> Especially with the kit being $39, you guys, but we will talk about that in a minute too. So, um, our team sales for the month, um, the Abbott team, we had 84.29 and the solar team had 71.23 and we had a total of two new um, recruits sign up. So yay for that. And then I'm going to do the rest of the recognition at the end, basically, because that's where the slideshow is had it and I wasn't about to try to make that change. So we're gonna do it at the end, just like the PowerPoint company does. <laughs> All right, so this is a post from our, um, our page, our team page. And if you ever want to find it to know, okay, when is our next training? When is the next recipe time? If you go over to the left on our team page in the search part, hashtag meeting dates, I have it so that the screen will pop up and that gets us through this year. So it has the list of all the dates when we will be doing our Zoom calls and then our recipe time. And our next recipe time, oh, somebody have a question? Okay, by the way, at any point in time, if you need to clarify something for me, it will not offend me if you jump in and go, wait, 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 you got that wrong. So please um, feel free to do that. Um, but anyway, um, the next recipe time is October 26th, which is where we actually try to meet face to face and actually cook together. The last one on September 21st, Deb graciously offered her home and there were three of us there, Deb of course, and me and Christy uh, Bowers was there from the courthouse area and we just had a really good time. We made these amazing fall recipes. They, it was just really, um, to me anyway, I hope you agree Deb, but it was a fun yeah. time. We learned a lot. Christy actually made a, a wreath, like a brunch kind of wreath, and it was great for her because she's made them before, but she said she never really, if I'm remembering this right, she never really felt like they looked quite right. And so we all kind of talked about, oh, we'll tuck this in here and do this. And it was gorgeous and beautiful. And I think she got a lot out of it just going, okay, now I kind of get, you know, how to make that wreath thing look the way I want it to. So if you guys can come to any of these, we would love it. The next one on October 26th, Tammy. Um, has uh, uh, offered her home here in Lebanon. And I'll get you that address, but it's at 10 o'clock typically on Saturday morning, October 26th will be our next one. So mark that um, a couple weeks from now, or, hmm, two weeks, two and a half weeks from now. All right, let's go. So home office news, and there is a lot. So pipe in if you have questions. So October, Heritage Month, if you haven't seen this already, um, in 1980, October 15th was Christopher, Doris Christopher's first kitchen show. If anyone's never read about this before, it's quite an interesting read. She had a book she wrote called Come to the Table. I do have a copy somewhere, but you can probably find it on Amazon too. But um, she actually did her first show with her friend Ruth, and she made a homemade pizza, frozen pizza, but she turned it into a homemade pizza by adding all these things that she sliced and diced and shredded and so forth. So that was the original Pampered Chef show was a frozen pizza. Which was a pizza thing. So anyway, so um, we celebrate the month long celebration with all kinds of great ideas. Um, and so I'm so thankful that, you know, 39 years ago, she tried this out. So we're gonna go through the Heritage Month, Help With Cancer, the Enrichables, and then Hot the Holidays. Those are all things that are going on in October. We're gonna to try to hit each one of those. And again, stop me um, if you have questions. The uh, new little um, uh, motto, I guess, not our mission statement by any means, but a motto that we, they would like us to kind of try to adopt is every four add one more. And that would be for every four shows that we hold, try to add a new team member. And some of you, hey, Valerie, I'm picking up some noise on yours. I think it's you. Well, your screen's popping up, but it says you're muted. Are you muted? I'm muted because my dogs were barking. Okay. Yeah. So it's coming up that you were muted, but then I, it's also showing that that's where the noise is coming from. 
Let me see. You said to come here. Okay. I just went through and muted. So um, if you need, if I muted you and you need to say something, just unmute it down in the left bottom corner, a little microphone. So, okay. Um, so anyway, if you go back and, and look at how many shows you have done in the past month, divide it by four, you might be closer than, I mean, you maybe haven't actually recruited and brought one more in for sure, but you might be closer to the to, to that number than what you think because you may have been talking with someone and sometimes talking with someone six weeks down the road, all of a sudden they're ready to sign. So if you start doing your averages, a lot of you are doing this more than you think you are. But um, if you're a numbers kind of person, you might just want to look at your shows, maybe go in the last three months if you've been in it for a while, add them all up. Valerie, it would be really interesting for you to try it since you have three new team members. If you go back and, and add up the number of shows you've done, you might be pretty close to that number. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you're wanting growth, that's a really good motto to fall by. Um, if you are thinking, I just wanted to do this part time because I want to get the products half price whenever they come out. I'm not into all this big time building a team stuff. That's totally fine also, but please don't not offer the opportunity if, because you're, you're possibly passing up people at your shows who really could use the extra money. And if you're not interested in building a team yourself, you pass them on to me or to your director and we'll help get them started. We all work together anyway. And then someday if you do decide you want to earn more and look at the leadership part of being a director, those people are already in place on your team. So just keep it in mind. And that's all I'll say about that unless anybody has any questions. Okay. All right, let's go. Here we go. All right, so three things that you always want to talk about every month when you're training, learning how to be more successful with the company. Bookings, getting bookings. You definitely have to have sales once you get the bookings and then recruiting and offering the opportunity. So that's what we're going to go through now. So booking tips. All right, first of all, the host rewards every month are great, whether we have an extra special or not. I mean, just saying to someone, if you just, when, whenever somebody calls me and wants to order something, no matter what, I always say, oh yeah, for sure, I can order that stone for you. However, do you think you know a few people who might want to order some stuff? All it takes is 200 in orders and you can get anything you want at half price. And I would say probably 50% of the time they take me up on it. They don't always get the 200 in sales, but they might at least try. And that's better than if they weren't trying at all. So just the basic rewards program is good in itself. Um, help with cancer fundraisers. Did everybody know maybe by nodding your head that this was help with cancer month? And um, if you didn't now you do and a help with cancer fundraiser. We'll talk more about that in a minute But this is a great month to offer that out because uh, just another reason someone might want to book to this month when they might not normally and then this power tool party, we're gonna talk more about that too. That's kind of a newer concept that some people have been having huge success with, so we're gonna hear a little more about that. All right, so I think I'm gonna go through all of these and let us listen to some people share their ideas. I would highly recommend maybe having a piece of paper ready to jot down a couple notes, like, cause you're gonna hear a whole bunch of little tidbits and you might go, oh, that's an idea I could use right now. And um, because, you know, you can always go back and watch this, but let's face it, if you're on here right now, you probably not, won't necessarily go back and watch it again, but I would get a piece of paper because I've listened to these and they, they just had some really nice little tidbits of like, oh yeah, I knew that, but I really should have thought. And maybe, you know. So the first one is using host rewards to book a virtual show. And you guys, I put that link in there myself and made it work. So hold on, I got to sign in here to Pampered Chef. I meant to already have Pampered Chef logged into, but sorry, let's see, I can do this. Okay, oh look, I, I, can, I just, I'm so thrilled that this is working. <laughs> I do remember Kathy saying last time, she goes, oh wow, that works. So I called her last night and I'm like, you know when you said, oh wow, that worked, tell me how you did that. So this is what she told me, show me. So here we go, okay. <laughs> Hi, my name is Karen Smith and I'm from Creedmoor, North Carolina. I have been a consultant for 13 years and up until last October, I did cooking shows only. I decided in October that I needed to embrace a new way of business, which was virtually. 
Thankfully, so many successful virtual consultants were happy to help me get started because I'm about to be mostly virtual in the new year when I become a stay-at-home Mimi. With that being said, I still need to maintain a big paycheck, so lots of virtual bookings are a must. I'm going to share a few of my top tips to help with bookings during a virtual party using our amazing host rewards. So tip one, I show lots of power tools, such as my grill pan, or of course, the quick cooker, or now our new cooking blender on the first few days of the party week. In midweek, I will post a wish list picture and I ask, it's time to dream big. If money was no object, what Pamper Chef products would you like in your kitchen? I will reply to their comments and when they mention a power tool or lots of products, I will message them right from that post. And I will say something like, I still want to wish your wish to come true. How about letting me pamper you and help you get your products for half price or even free? Tip two. On the same day of my big wish list post, I message each of my hosts individually and ask if they are willing to partner with me in a little challenge. When they say yes, and they normally do, I let them know that they can get additional half off items even after their party closes. They just need to have some friends say yes to a party. I'll ask them to message at least five friends separately with a goal of three yeses. In the message, they can thank them for joining the party mention how easy it has been to party all week and that they would love to offer them the same opportunity. When a friend says yes, I ask my host to group message me with that person since we aren't Facebook friends yet so we can book a party date. I say something like, I'm super excited you want to party, which date would work for you? Then I give them an option of two dates. Now, if I'm really needing a particular date, I'll just say, how about we party on this date? They usually are very flexible because it's virtual, right? Any date is perfect. Now, tip number three. The next evening, I'll post a who wants to party with me picture along with the host rewards picture you find on the back of the catalog. Then I'll tag my host in the comment line by saying, I'm giving away free products. Who do you think would want some? And they always tag additional people that they think should book. So it's pretty simple. First, I try to create interest with power tools, engage with the guest, then they share their big wish list, create a little challenge with my host, and then of course, always ask for more. It's a win-win. Good luck. Okay, let me see if I can find the PowerPoint again. Look at that, I'm so excited. Okay, so two questions. First of all, has anyone already listened to that little bit of training? Oh, no. Okay. And I just, I'm bringing it up. Not like, are you serious? Cause I had not seen it either. I believe it was in the stir um, that, you know, and that's where, if you're wanting great training, go to the stir and they do put these little snippets of training in there. So if you hadn't seen it, I'm, I'm probably going to try to play these because I just think they're great. And, you know, we all have the intention of going and doing more training and learning more, but I think it's sometimes at meetings like this that we force ourselves to take the time and therefore we're gonna do that. So, did anybody have a takeaway that they're like, yes, that's, I, I'm, I can do that? Anybody? I know most of you are muted, sorry. I liked the wording, um, I'm giving away free products. Who do you think would, would like to earn free products? Right, and then have the host tag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was a great idea because the you know, if the host does the tag, you post it, and the host does the tagging on it. Well, who doesn't want to at least hear more about that? So, and we talked about this um, somewhere along the line. Did you all know that when you're using you're doing virtual shows on your pam your um, business page, underneath every comment that someone makes, the word message is there. It's like, reply, or message. And if you hit message, it takes you straight to Messenger and you can message that person. I think that's such a great feature. Even if you're not friends with them, it takes you right in and they, they see the message and they do see it because I have had people respond to me right away as opposed to me going into Messenger, finding them and trying to message them, not being friends. Does that make sense? I think. Okay. All right. Booking at parties and outside of parties. Now, I will play this. Is anyone here doing live parties that wants to hear this right now? Because I don't want to play it if you're all doing virtual, 
Lily, you are thinking of doing some live ones. Is that right? I would like to, but I don't have any booked or like in the future that I think I'm going to get booked right away. Okay. Um, I know Emily um, Edens is panicking because someone asked her to do a live show and she totally only wanted to be virtual. Oh my and, gosh. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know. I, I can't see everybody on the screen right now, but I know my Emily, Emily Abbott or oh, Emily Solar. Sorry. I know you totally want to do virtual too. And we have an aunt who keeps asking Emily to do a live show with her. And she's just avoiding it. Cause it's like, no, I didn't sign up to do live, but um, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll call Aunt Bonnie and we'll be like, we have someone to do your live show. So um, I think for time's sake, well, you know what? No, I'm just going to play it. We've got time. I'm just going to play it. And um, maybe even though it's live and outside of parties, it will still give you some ideas for booking virtual shows as well. Or maybe you'll want to do a live party. So let's go ahead and just do this one. Maybe jot down a few notes as we go along. I think. Where is she at here? Okay, there she is. Okay. Love the music. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Myers from Oak Point, Texas, which is near Dallas, and I was going to hop on today and do a quick little video for you all about booking parties at parties and outside of them, specifically in home parties. So for me, I like to look at the booking message as salt and pepper. I'm shaking it all over my event. And I like to just sprinkle it in and out of all the things I'm talking about with my guests. I don't like a hard sell approach. I like a soft sell approach where I'm simply mentioning how much fun it would be to gather with your friends and learn a new recipe. Or if you're not really in the mood to cook at all, I do no cooking allowed parties where I can just encourage people to come hang out, check out the tools that we have, and really just shop and maybe enjoy a beverage with their friends. So for me, I like to touch certain products during my demonstration, and those products remind me of certain themes that I offer. So maybe you could do something similar. For me, the Lazy Susan is going to be one that I'm going to be talking about, my Build Your Own Board Party, where we'll be talking about charcuterie boards. For me, the Deluxe Cooking Blender is where I'm going to be talking about build your own pasta bar. I, my head hurts. Sauce. So look at your in-person party and see where you can sprinkle the booking image. So that by the time you're at the end of the party and you comment about, hey, I'm pretty fun. What about, I love what about, about like that one? friends and party, drink, have a good time, then it makes a little bit more sense to them. They're ready to hear it because you've sprinkled it all throughout that live event. The time when you've gotten to visit and chit chat with them, show them new things and hopefully give them some great inspiration. So the second little tip for you is how do you get those bookings at a party? Well, for me, because I very casually talk about it in different times all throughout the party, by the time I sit down with people for my checkout chat, I've established some connection with them. And so I'll ask them, hey, what theme do you think your friends would really love? And I list off a few of my current themes just to see what might kind of pick up their attention. And so based on their reaction to that, I just have a conversation with them. And if they say, hey, no, I'm too busy, I can't do it right now, I try to be very gracious with them and say, hey, no worries, can I follow up with you next month or maybe even the month after because my calendar fills up really quickly. The next thing is, how do you get people to book like the night of? And for me, my biggest tip for you is that people want to do business with busy people. When I can honestly look out at my crowd and tell them with confidence that I love what I do and I am booked all the way through December and it's only September, they know that I'm really busy and they need to get on my calendar right now. And that helps me to maintain that. Now, if you're brand new and your calendar is wide open, that's fine but you still want to be busy. You want to be hard to get, if you will, so that you make this something that is essential for them to book now. I know a lot of consultants who offer a small gift if you book right now, if you put their name um, into your calendar. I like paper calendars, and so I bring one with me just for Pampered Chef, and if they sign their name in the book, I add a special gift to their um, order that night. Normally a season's best or a spice, something really easy and inexpensive for me, but it helps to secure that booking 
right then and there. Other consultants like to bring them a gift the night of their party to make sure it holds. So whatever works for you is great, but you do want to have out some kind of paper calendar. And for me, it shows an awful lot of dates that are already booked. And if it's not Pamper Chef related, I just put the word out and that way they know I'm not available then either. So I try to make sure they realize my time's super valuable. Okay, the next one is, um, how do I get parties outside of my parties? Obviously our goal is to get two parties from every party, whether it's a virtual or an in-home party. Um, I think for me, my goal is to be connected with my customers. So after the party is over, directly after, I send every single person a text message with a picture of myself that says thank you, and I just encourage that connection and let them know how thankful I am that they chose to spend their Thursday or Friday night hanging out with me and the host. I include some recipes recipe tips and kind of just chit chat with them back and forth based on their response. And then after that, I do really two by two by two by a two week contact asking them if they've taken their products out of the box. Do they have any questions? Can I help them? them with anything and thank you again for supporting my family with your purchase and then two months later they get another text message from me that just says hey there's a lot of great things happening right now with pampered chef can we talk about them are you interested in hosting a wine cheese and chocolate party or do you want to do an appetizer party with me this month and normally by going back to all of the guests at that party, which is between 10 and 12, of those 10 and 12 text messages, I'm booking one additional party from those who didn't book with me the night of the event. And so again, customer care, it's sort of a big deal. Okay, let's see, I hope nothing happens next on that video. And I'm gonna go back. Okay, any takeaways? I have a question. Yes. No. <laughs> what was the last two? It was two weeks for a thank you, two months for like a new party. What was the last two? Honestly, I was thinking she might have gotten a little messed up on that. And okay. because I thought it was two days, two weeks, two months. Is that, I mean, we've, that's been around for a while. Any, like Deb, Elizabeth, you've been in for a while. Do you think? Yeah, that's okay. what I've always heard. Two days, two weeks, two months. Right. So, but I had, that was my takeaway. I'm like, oh yeah, I was doing that for a while. Ooh, oh yeah, I guess I haven't done that for a while. So um, that's such a great rule of thumb, especially if you're not getting the bookings that you want. Um, as soon as, you know, Sierra, or, um, Lily, you're on a show right now. And, you know, next week, those will be orders. You know, yeah, you've got two shows going on. So right away, you can do the two days. And then two weeks from now, you'll have other shows going on, but you can go back to these that are happening now. I mean, that two plus two plus two is, is so helpful and, and it works. And if you start now getting that habit going, it's, it's, it's very valuable. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I needed to hear that again. So anyone else? And welcome, Cora. I saw that you joined. I, I went through and muted people, so no offense. It was just I was going through and things. Yeah, so so glad you're on here. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and I know I've got a primary phone person, so I'm not sure who that is, but um, you don't have to unmute or anything. But wh whoever else is on here, welcome. So anyway, all right. Any other takeaways? I liked the no cooking allowed party idea for for a live party. Oh yeah. Sometimes the guests really want to spend more time together and. If you don't spend 45 minutes doing a recipe, you can still talk about stuff and bring tools for them to see. Awesome. But it could be faster party. Right. And for someone who isn't real keen on doing live parties, that might be a great way to just, it, it's a stop and shop. And um, I, I, for a while, did doctor's office shows with this particular, I think it was a dentist, but once a month or once every two months, they took turns. All the co-workers who were there and I would make everything in advance show up with a pampered chef recipe already made and they, it was during their lunch hour I loved it because I just worked on my stuff at home at my leisure showed up they shopped they talked during lunch and then once they went back to work I packed my stuff up and they either put their orders in there or they called me afterwards if they had wanted to take a catalog and shop and they were excellent shows and they took very little time outside of my house and I was just you know cooking at home when I had time when the kids were little and I used to have to you know get a babysitter for that day if it happened to be but luckily I had a mother-in-law who was able to do that a lot <laughs> so anyway so so many creative things I know Lily has been asking so many questions can I do this can I try that and that is awesome because 
you know, th that's, it's your own business. And that's what's so cool. So every idea that you have, as long as it's ethical and you're not you know, cheating or anything, I think it's a good one. So try anything if you think it works. So, or think it even might work. So anyone else? Um, Cora, were you talking to us or? Okay. I'm talking to you. Um, I was recently invited to um, to have a booth at a Nutcracker type market, and um, I I've been like racking my brain on how I can go about doing that and how do you sign people up like our booths more for geared towards you know just getting hosts or are they geared towards selling and if it is selling then how do you go about that um anybody else want to jump in i don't want to be the only one off you know monopolizing the time but it, i definitely can does anybody have any experience they want to share um yeah. right. I don't have an experience, but I would think that if you have a booth and you have some of your product out on at the booth and maybe some, if you have meal starters, fine, but if not, just some of your product. And I personally would try and promote the product and accumulate hosts. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Elizabeth. Uh, right when I started, I did a bunch of like vendor event type things, um, mostly to kind of just get my name out. Um, it gave me, I mean, I did, to be honest, I didn't sell, or I hardly sold anything at them, but um, I handed out a lot of cards, mm -hmm. got a lot of people's info so I could call them later. Um, so I made a lot of contacts using those. Um, okay. I definitely brought some of like the, my favorite products and put them on a table. Um, um, one thing I would recommend is to make sure you're like standing in front of your table or beside your table and that you're like pulling people in, not sitting behind your table and just waiting for people to approach you, kind of taking a more proactive approach um, and talking to people, hey, have you heard about Pamper Chef? Hey, have you seen the cool stuff we've got going on with Pamper Chef right now? Um, those sort of things, but I, I used it mainly to get contacts. Um, I did, I, I ended up booking like one party maybe, from like the four or five I did. Um, but it, it, I just got a lot, a lot of contacts um, and some orders too from that. Good answers, good answers. Um, I would also, to add to that, this is a time of year where you may get more orders than other times of years because people mm -hmm. might in Christmas gifts a lot of times they don't want to stop long enough to put in an order but if it's for Christmas shopping they might you know or holiday shopping so be prepared and since we have you know where you can have it shipped to them and they can choose that um, for 17 mm -hmm. five, they can have it shipped to themselves so you don't have to worry about deliveries um, totally up to you but you might offer if you order today two dollars off shipping or something and that would have to come out of your pocket but you know, if it gets yeah. an order that wouldn't have been there, and let's say, you know, you're going to make your 20%, so if it's a, you know, $50 order, you're going to make 10 bucks, and you would have to spend two of it, but, you know, so that's totally up to you, but that's another thought as well, and, um, and you might even have a sign, you know, book now, like November, it's anything in the catalog for 60% off is the November special, so you could just say, yeah. you know, today and I'll give you any item of your choice for 60% off. They don't necessarily know that it's the company that's paying for it. All they care about is that's what they're going to get. So anything else? Good answers, you guys. All right. Okay. Moving along. All right. So the Help With Cancer fundraisers. Um, what I will say about that, the, the benefits or the, all the proceeds are going to go to the Hope Lodge, which is a place where, similar to like Ronald McDonald House, a lot of people can relate to that. It's where the families can stay when um, another family mem mem member is hospitalized with um, cancer treatment. And if we do a fundraiser in the month of October and we click the button that says cancer fund, Help With Cancer Fundraiser, 25% of the sales will be donated to the American Cancer Society. It's normally 15% when the show goes over 600. But in this case, it's 25% and then $3 for every party booked. So, um, but you do have to press that button. 
Um, one time I forgot to click the idea. I don't think I understood and I didn't really pay attention, didn't click the button. And then my conscience got the best of me when it was time to turn it in. So I donated the other 10%, which was not a big deal. You know, it's, I just donated whatever the sales were. I just made a donation to the American Cancer Society. But had I remembered to click the button, I wouldn't have been doing it. It would have come from Pamper Chuck. So <laughs> anybody have anything else to share about that? All right. Um, the power tool, uh, using power tools to book parties. Um, I think I am going to let you guys do this one because I don't want to keep us over time. We have more to cover. This is, let me show you where it is. I'm going to click on it. We just won't play it. Um, and it's actually, I think, I don't even know if it's a video, but it's, if you go into the stir, there's a whole like explanation here. You guys can see I'm just scrolling fast. And then when you click get resources, it's going to take you to, um, a whole bunch of stuff that's all in marketing imagery with what recipes um, this is a very successful consult or director named Sharon Zellin we hear her speak at conference a lot she just is just amazing she does a great job and she's given an outline for everything she does so if you are thinking hmm, I want to think about that power tool party um, go in there and check that out but um, rather than you know obviously we're not going to read through that together there's a lot so all right, oops, I went back too far, getting stir crazy. All right, selling tips. So in case you, oh, you know what? I forgot to mention it. What was our host bonus for October? It tells us what the guest bonus is down at the bottom of this page, but I don't think it ever told us the 60% off special for hosts this month. The blender, isn't it? The it was the blender and it also, I think it was like a, the quick cooker, like the whole set. Um, that was September. So um, the quick cooker was. So if you have a show that's still closing, that was a September show and it's not closed yet. If it's dated September, that is the special for September. And then the October special is basically some stoneware sets. So um, yeah. I don't have it uh, to pull up on the screen, but if you can see, I don't know if I'm in the top right pick corner of your, but um, the blender is also on there, but the show has to hit 550 for the blender to be one of the options. But um, there are three sets, the starter set, which is the round stone bar pan and nine by 13 baker. That's $40 and 80 cents. I mean, wow, what a thing to just offer to friends and say, if you've got three people you need gifts for, that's less than like, it's like 13 something a person for a really nice gift or wedding showers, whatever. Um, the, all three of the rectangular bakers as a set are on special for 52. And then the deep covered baker and the round covered baker, that set is on special for 59.20. So those are the bonuses for host, the bonuses for guest, And this is a pretty good one. They can get either the pizza cutter or the personal size round stone if they spend $80. So be sure and keep that in mind and, and get that out there and advertise it. All right, three ways to increase your sales in October. So we get these bookings. Here are some ways to increase your sales. I am so excited about a couple of these, all of them, but a couple big time. Holiday gifts, welcome back products. That's the one I'm really excited about. I'll tell you why in a minute. And then the enrichables, and I'm excited about that because the potential and the enrichables is huge. So here we go. Have you guys seen this yet? I had not seen it until I started looking at the PowerPoint. I just really hadn't mm -hmm. paid But five different Christmas sets, holiday gift sets. Sorry, I just have a habit of saying Christmas. I hope I don't offend anyone by saying that, but holiday <laughs> shopping. So I, yeah, long story. Anyway, um, so the, the ultimate cookie house set, the wine gift set, the cookie lover set, the sheet pan gift set, and then the boat and press set, which I think is pretty cool too. And they have them so nicely advertised, but that you can also find, um, you could probably go to explore and search it. You could also go to dash and find those as well. Um, just in time for the holidays, all the Pixar items are on sale. So you could just do a post in a virtual show, you know, get them now while they're still in stock. Um, great gifts for the kiddos if grandpa parents especially are looking for gift ideas and so forth the Meal starters are on sale. Did anybody know that already? 
that they were on sale in October. Had anybody found that? Okay, I had. Yeah. Looked, okay, great. I'm glad you guys are on the ball because I had not caught that. I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. So not quite half price, but quite a bit off. So, and then this, oh my gosh, when these went out of the line, I'm telling you guys, I was so sad. So if you never had these, you don't really know what you were missing, but the double strength vanilla, um, amazing. I look at the price and yes, I golf a little bit, but if you've ever gone to Mexico or maybe San Diego and then headed into Tijuana or something or somewhere where you can buy pure vanilla extract, it's pretty expensive stuff. If you go to someplace like Trader Joe's or whatever, really good vanilla is pretty expensive, but it's double strength, meaning you only use half of what a recipe calls for. Our cinnamon was also great. So if you have people in your life who you know have been around Pampered Chef for a while, this would be a great thing to put out there and let them know about as well. Um, just a quick story about the vanilla. My son, who's 19, he came in the other night and it was like nine o'clock at night. And he's like, mom, do you think you might be interested in baking some cookies? And some friends were coming over. I'm like, oh my gosh, really you're 19? But the mom and me was like, oh, he wants me to do something with him. So I jumped at it and I, of course, dropped whatever I was doing and we went and I said, well, if you just get me all the ingredients, I'll make the cookie dough and then you have to finish baking them. Um, so it was kind of like my bread spend time with him. But anyway, <laughs> he gets up in the cabinet and I said, I need the vanilla next. And he was like, where's our vanilla? And I said, oh, it's the blue bottle. And he said, well, what happened to the, the good vanilla? You know, the paper chef vanilla. And I said, oh, I ran out of that because I bought like four or so extra bottles way back when they discontinued it. And he's like, oh my gosh, I don't know if our cookies are going to taste as good without that vanilla. And this is a 19 year old who you know, knew how good that vanilla was. So, it, you know, just take his word for it. it. It's awesome. And get some for yourself, if nothing else, and, and see what it's like. So, okay, enough of that. All right, enrichables. How many of you have tried enrichables so far? I put it in some cookies. I did the kale and the pea protein in some cookie dough, and I really could not taste the difference. So, um, I've put it in most of soups, smoothies, and things like that. It just definitely has not affected the taste at all. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Um, I, we, it's $29 for a box. We get commission off of $25. And we talked about this on the call that Lily and Emily and I were on last week, which ended up turning out to be just a trading call for Lily, which was kind of cool. <laughs> but anyway, we talked a little bit about enrichables. And if you would get four subscriptions in a month, you're making commission off of $100 extra in that month. If you get, you know, 10 subscriptions, that's, I'm doing the math here, 25, you know, $250 per month that you can make commission off of if they just reorder a box each month. So the potential here is huge. And two things, if you haven't looked into this yet, do the dash training on it first. And then secondly, go ahead and set up your own subscription. You can cancel it at any time, but at least set up a subscription, get your first box and try them out. So, all right, any questions before we go on? All right, oops. <sighs> Darn. Okay, and don't forget, what's in it for you? $7.50 in the month of October, you'll get the Pampered Chef Stadium Blanket. Very cool. I mean, that's just really nice. Great advertisement, plus so useful. And um, Kalina, I know, has already ordered it. I think I saw she had popped on here. So I know you're probably not able to talk, but yay, Kalina, she's already earned that for the month of October. Has anyone else, because I haven't been on the computer, um, today, I just had noticed hers from yesterday when I got on. I know some of you are getting close. So, yay. I think Emily Edens may have already. So keep that in mind. Just a nice little gift to arrive in the mail. All right, mm -hmm. recruiting. All you need is a kit and a dream. Is anyone excited about the $39 kit? I mean, yes. those of you who signed in September, awesome because you're going to get that blender free you have that potential a 349 dollars item for free so yay for those of you who signed september um and then now we can offer this 39 dollars kit or at least a discount even on the larger ones so 39 years ago 
Um, thank goodness she did it. I love this picture. That is truly from her first show. And I just think it's hilarious. Some of the things that you see back there and her stones way down there in the bottom of the screen. So, all right. So these are the kits. So 99 down the, oh, my screen's in the way. Hold on. Let me see if I can move it. I don't know if I can. So 99 down to 39, 159 down to 99 and 259 down to 199. So, um, get the word out there um, and start advertising. All right, I believe, because I, I promise the rest won't be too long, I'm gonna play this because there's some great tips from Love Carpenter. I know Emily has done some training with Love. She's great to listen to. So we're just gonna listen to some ideas from her about recruiting and bringing people in and ways to offer this amazing opportunity. So, here we go, where are you? There we go. So what's so wonderful about the month of October is that this is the month that our founder, Doris Christopher, started her Pamper Chef business that grew into what we have, to the Pamper Chef that we have today. And this is the month that we really, really celebrate what's at the heart of Pamper Chef, both our products and our amazing business opportunity. This is the month that Doris took that risk and started her own business. And how amazing would that be that we have the power um, to empower others to change their life by starting their own Pamper Chef business in our anniversary month um, and impact thousands of lives for them to be able to bring in income for their families um, this time. Some of the things that I plan to do right away to impact recruiting for the month of October, both for myself and in my team, is for um, us to start contacting prior recruit leads who we've talked to in the past and timing just wasn't right for them. And this could be the perfect time for them to start and the perfect opportunity for them to start with our anniversary kids. Um, the second thing that I plan on doing is contacting every single host who is currently on my calendar, whether it's for the month of October, November, December, or January, and let them know about this exciting news. Who knows, they just might wanna get their business started early before their show ever comes around. And then they can be their own um, host of their, they can be the consultant of their own show. And um, the third thing I plan on doing is contacting um, past hosts um, on my calendar, whether they express an interest in the business or not, contacting past hosts because you never know timing just could be right um, this time of year. Um, everybody's looking for extra money for the holidays. Um, how wonderful would it be to help people have a debt free holiday um, this season? And um, also contact um, everybody in your parties. You never know who in your parties um, or who at your cooking shows might be interested in starting a business like this. So offer it to everybody. We absolutely can't prejudge. Because what I find often is it's the person that you least expect is the person that is the most excited to get started. Uh, in addition to that, I really challenge you and will challenge my team and challenge myself to contact those people who've been a little afraid to ask. Um, some of you might know it as the chicken list. <laughs> who do you know in your life that you really think this could be a good fit for, or you really think they would be amazing at this, but you've just been a little afraid, afraid to step out of your comfort zone and ask them? Why not ask them with their anniversary kit? What a better time to ask somebody to join you in the business. So some of the things that I might say when I was reaching out, if this was a um, a past lead who had expressed the interest, um, just reach out to them and say, hey, I know we had talked about um, you um, getting started in Pampered Chef before, and it just wasn't the right time. And Pampered Chef just announced an incredible offer for our anniversary month, and I'm super excited to share it with you. I thought of you right away. Um, just as simple as that. Same thing when you're reaching out to your current host and your past host, that um, you're super excited because Pamper Chef has announced a special anniversary offer and you thought of them right away because, and make it personal and tell them why you thought of them. And um, let your current host know that they can get their business started for the holidays and use their show to jumpstart their business. Remember that the $39 starter kit is just a starting point for recruiting conversation. We have two other amazing kits at anniversary prices this month. And all three kits have everything that your new consultant needs for both in-home and virtual party success. We have 31 days to take advantage of this incredible anniversary special. So I encourage you to get started <laughs> right away. And I challenge you, how many people can you contact in the next 24 hours about this incredible opportunity? How many people can you contact in the next two days, in the next three days? Set a goal to contact someone every single day the month of October. 
because we have all these great tools with Pampered Chef, an incredible new deluxe cooking blender, and a great new product line. And all of those things will still be there after October, but this offer will not. So spend your time wisely this month and reach out and contact as many people as you can think about about this incredible opportunity. So I just want to encourage you to ask everyone this month, ask everyone. If we don't ask someone, we're making that decision for them and it should be their choice, not ours, if they want to take advantage of this amazing opportunity. The worst that can happen when you ask is that they say no. And the best thing that could happen when they say no is you can get a booking on your calendar because you took the, the time to share the business with someone else. So ask everyone. Okay, isn't that, okay, I don't need to say anything else. Isn't she good? She just makes me want to go out and ask people. <laughs> Did anybody want to share something that was a good takeaway about what she said? <laughs> Is somebody talking? I can't tell. Valerie, were you saying something? No? Okay. So seriously, y'all, can you think of some people you could put on a list right now and just, just ask, you know, quick text, a private message. The worst they can do is say no. The good thing that could happen, you may get a booking that, you know, so start with people that, um, I love the chicken list because there are lots of people I've thought of who I think, oh, they'd be so good at this, but I've been just too scared to ask them. So make a list and I challenge you in the next 24 hours, two days, and a week, really make a list and just sit down and go to it. And even if you don't get to the list and to the end of it until next week, that still gives you two full weeks or yeah, two full weeks to still book shows and, and be able to talk with the people if they're thinking about it. So seriously, such a great month to offer the opportunity. All right. Um, quickly. Um, but does anybody want to share something? How did your business change someone's life this last month? Or how has your business enriched your life? Right on the spot there, but does anyone have anything that jumps out and you want to share? I'm prepared because I knew that slide was coming, but this is something very small, but I had a high school friend that I sort of talked into having a virtual show. She said she'd expressed interest, but like, oh, I don't even know how to do that. I'm terrible on Facebook. And I said, well, then you're perfect for trying it. Just do it. And by the end of it, she had learned to do so many things on the computer that she didn't know before. And it was truly the blind leading the blind, but we had a good laugh about it. And someone booked from her and she actually made a post in her show this was so fun. I learned so much and I know so much more about doing things on the computer than I ever did. I'm, you know, it was such a great experience or something like that. So I'm like, Hey, has nothing truly to do with Pamper Chef, but she's more comfortable on the computer. Yay. <laughs> so, um, you just never know. So offer it out there. All right, here we go. I know you guys have kept you on here for a while. So keep in mind, we have the great kid to offer. Dash is out there. So when you're bringing new people in, you don't have to know all the answers. You can look, look it up together with them in Dash and you've got directors and other consultants you can point them to. And remember that the fast track rewards, if you bring someone new in and they fast track, track to director, they get $500 bonuses, but you do also. So keep that in mind. You could have for every new person you bring in, they have the potential of getting $3,000 in their first three months, but so do you as the person who brought them in. So keep that in mind. All right, um, some other things. You get the reward of helping someone out. You get overrides on your personal team sales. You get a $50 Pampered Chef money when they qualify. You get $3,000 or 3,000 or 3,000 points toward the incentive trip and the sky is the limit. I have two people in my downline who make way more than I do per month, so it's not like there's one person sitting at the top. The potential is there for everyone. All right, um, annual rewards. You can travel with the Pampered Chef. Um, I just heard a story about a gal who started in May, and she has already earned the Disney trip by the end of August, so it can be done. You would have to really, really jump into it. Um, my director, Becky, is she earned it in four months. 
So um, if you are interested in trying to make that happen, yes, it would be a lot of work, but it would be really exciting when you got there. So, and you'd be making a nice check as you did. So let me know. Excellence awards, these are for our top performers, but anybody can do it. It's not like the top 20. It's anyone who reaches a certain level in sales, recruiting, or developing leaders. So check that out um, at your convenience and just see, hmm, maybe some of you are getting close to being on track for that. All right, monthly recognition. Um, Emily and I talked. What we are going to do, at least for a while, we are going to just list the top 20 in our whole organization for Emily's team and my team. Kathy does her own team because Kathy Cantrell's organization is quite large. So she's doing hers separately with her team, and Emily and I are doing with ours. Valerie is up and coming. She's getting closer to director. Amy Harper's getting closer. So um, we're going to list the top 20. Um, this month we had the top 13, I believe it was. Um, so I'm going to go through and then um, and show you all those. But Emily and I independently will still be sending out our bonuses and rewards to all of you for earning. And Emily, my Emily um, Abbott, if you would, could you go through and put a um, make a piece of paper for each person on the call so that we can do a drawing? Because one of our recognitions is if you're on the drawing each month, you automatically get to be. Um, and a drawing for a $5 gift card. So Emily, do you think you can do that? Are you able to see? Okay, so if you can have that ready, then we also will be rewarding um, the Green by 15 postcards, and some of you I know have gotten those already, and once you get three of those, um, you send us a picture of them and we'll send you a $10 gift card. We want to really recognize being active with at least 150 in sales before or at the 15th of the month every month. And then we are also going to share a little bit of our override back with our teams. And we're going to give um, percentages to the first, second, and third place highest sales in our group. And so you'll get a little bonus in the mail. Sometimes it might be a dollar or two, but it's paid hey, it's a dollar or two. If we have a really good month, it's been up to 20 some dollars that some people have gotten in, in, their, um, in the mail as a surprise. And then we added a little bit, we kind of changed the percentages of what we're giving back to our first, second, second and third in sales. And we're going to also give a little 10% token to a random person. Everyone who is active will be in that drawing to be able to get that 10%. So that way, everyone who is active in the month has a, a, a potential, not just the top three people in getting a little bit of a reward and recognition. So without further ado, let's congratulate Emily Edens and Megan Smith. They're both now senior consultants. We're welcoming in to, um, a new person each into the company. So I don't think either is on here, but Megan might be, but I know Emily, we're recording for her, so congratulations. And then this is our, check this out. Trust me, the confetti was not me. That's already built in. I would never know how to do that, but anyway, so check out the numbers. Can everybody see the whole screen from where you are? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, the A after a person's name, that means they're on the Abbott team. S is the solar team and H <clears throat> is hospitality because we have two people in our group who I know we always forget that they're not just a regular part of our group, but they are um, from another team. Their director didn't live close, so that's why at, when we did live meetings, they were coming to ours, and now they're just part of our team. But I just thought we could um, kind of keep everybody straight with who belongs to who and so forth. So congratulations to Emily Edens, Valerie Vaughn, Tanya, I hope I say your name, Guyman, Melissa Lloyd and Amy Harper, and Megan Jones, because they all received the blender carrying case for having at least $7.50 in the month. So look at those totals. Congratulations, ladies, and congratulations, everybody who was active. And then I listed the directors. Do you guys notice that bottom corner? Do you see that number? Anybody else kind of having their jaw drop right now? Kathy Cantrell had a $10,400 month. That's her personal sales. She's doing two fundraisers right now. So if you are interested in running a fundraiser, I'm sure she would be glad to share. Um, get with Kathy. She has been doing one for many, many years. She's built up a reputation with it, and it's huge every year. So um, September's and October are great months for Kathy because she kind of overlaps it into two months. So congratulations, everyone. 
All right, Emily, are you ready yet? Okay, hold them up so we know you're not cheating. No, I'm just totally kidding. So I have, I think there's seven. Okay. I've got seven pieces of paper here. Okay, besides you and I, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've got, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we've got eight. Oh. Um, Kalina, Tanya. Hey, Tanya, glad you were able to join. Lily. Mm hmm Cora. Deb. Yep. Elizabeth. Valerie. Yep. Plus seven. Okay, sorry. You know what? I think Deb appeared on my screen twice because the way it scrolled. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Do you want yeah. me to just pick one? Oh. Yep. yep. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm not looking. I'm mixing them all up. <laughs> and this is for a little $5 gift card just for being on the call. So... All right, the winner is Kalina. I don't know if you can see it. Kalina, <laughs> great job getting in from that soccer game and still getting on the call. So, congratulations. thank you. All righty, <laughs> good job. Okay, and congratulations, everyone, for a great month. And I think October will be even higher. So, moving along to that, I would like you to um, text your director with your goals. So, how many? Do you personally hope to book in parties? And kind of maybe virtual or live, let us know um, how much in personal sales, you know, more than at least whatever. And when we say number of people that you're gonna make every day better by sharing the opportunity, um, not a goal of how many you plan to sign because we never know for sure if they're gonna sign. Let's make that a goal, how many people we wanna offer it to and then I'll come up with the goal based on percentages. And you know, if you say, I'm gonna share it with 25 people and everybody says that, then I can come up with a nice number for how many we think are going to actually join us as consultants this month. So please submit that. All right, looking ahead to November. Just quickly, I really hesitate showing this. We still wanna get October booked, right? Does everybody already have as many shows as they want for October? No, I mean, are we all wanting more? than we have so far, probably. I mean, I know I am. So, but looking ahead, just in case, if you get October where you want it, um, those are the bonuses for November. And looking way ahead, so you can mark it on your calendar now, National Conference will be in downtown Chicago from the 8th to the 10th. So mark that, we'll worry about details later, but put it on your calendar so you know when it is. We'll talk more about it, but it can be business changing. I'm telling you. So, all right. Now, I'm not sure how to get off of that page. So, I may have to end the meeting with all of us in Galley View here. But I've got three little of, of extra things to remind you of and then see if you have any questions. First, opportunity event. Beginning, we, I offered it last week, but I didn't get it advertised too much or even two weeks ago. We have joined with Kathy Cantrell's Cluster to offer an opportunity event every Wednesday night at eight o'clock. If you have people who are thinking about the opportunity, tell them they can go into this group. You have to let us know, we'll add them to the group, we'll add you to the group, then you can add them to the group. It's basically a group on Facebook and every Wednesday at eight o'clock, it will run a series of about 15 to 20 posts spaced out about every two to three minutes. They can get on and simply watch. They can participate because it asks them questions. Everybody who completes a survey at the end is in um, a drawing for um, a gift. And it's usually like a season's best and so, or so forth that we'll mail to them. But get people in there. And even if they can't be on live at 8 o'clock to be in there as it's running live, they can get on at any time the rest of the week. So you, you can add them to the group at any time and they can go back and just look at the post. They are numbered in case they get out of order. So be sure and offer that to people. If you have questions about it, be sure and let me know. Um, I have an opportunity to do a ladies night here in Lebanon on November 9th. I will plan to do it. I've done it before, but if anybody is interested and you live close enough and would like to do it, let me know. I'd be willing to not do it if somebody else wants to, uh, but it's November 9th. It's from four to nine. You usually set up around three and it's very well attended by people in Lebanon. The ladies of Lebanon have come to expect this and they look forward to it. 
Um, different places around offer wine samples. So it, it turns into a very fun night for lots of people. Um, so I have had some success with it. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Somewhere, but I can't remember where I saw it, February 3rd is going to be our spring launch, which will, that's when we'll introduce the new spring products. More details on that will follow. Um, next Tuesday, one week from tomorrow, the 15th, I believe, yes. Um, Kathy Cantrell does her trainings the first and third Tuesdays. And next Tuesday, for her third Tuesday, she's having a guest speaker. Her name is Tanil Eubanks. She is phenomenal to listen to. If you would like some really great, great training, um, get on there. I will be able to sh share the recording from that, but I think if you get on live, you would be glad you did. Seven o'clock next Tuesday. And anything else? Anything, anybody? I wish I could get you on full screen. I apologize. I really don't know how. I'm not even sure if I know how to end this meeting. <laughs> Somebody can help me here. Hold on. I don't know how to get rid of my um, PowerPoint slide. Just hit escape. Nice. I knew that. Who said that? Thank you very much. Well, I just did it and it didn't do it. So try clicking. Click like anywhere on the black screen. I, yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. Okay, and now I can do escape, get off there, and I can do unshare screen, I think. Okay, hold on. Let me do, there we go. Stop share. There we are. Okay, sorry, I'm learning. All right, so thanks for those of you who are still on. I know some people had to get off, but do you guys have any questions? That was a lot. I apologize, that went over by a little bit. Next month won't be nearly as long unless you guys want it to be with, you know, questions and stuff, but there was a lot to get in there. Um, and next month, week, I don't want to talk nearly as much, but kind of going through the PowerPoint, I had to. Thanks to everyone who offered the tidbits and the advice and the great suggestions this time. And next week, we'll have even more because, you know, it'll be kind of more you guys led with what you want to work on and stuff. So, all right, text me your goals. Text me or message me if you have something you want covered. Two weeks from tonight will be our next Zoom call. Thanks for being on. Anybody have anything else? All right. Thanks, you guys. Have a great week. Contacts, contacts, contacts. Talk to you later.